Hi everyone, welcome back to some more 3D printing. I'm Agustin Flowalistic and today I'm going to show you how to make this 3D printed DIY message board. Some weeks ago, the people from BCN 3D Tech sent me the Hotton family for the BCN 3D Sigma R17 and some color fab filament to test it with. At the same time, my girlfriend showed me one of these DIY message board videos and I was like, hey, I can 3D print that, I'm going to 3D print that. Well, here you can see the results, but there's some work behind, so let's move to Fusion 360 and let's, uh, let me show you all the design process of this DIY message board. In Fusion 360, the first thing I did was to import a vector file where I had already prepared the font. I took as the minimum element a 1 8 inch square. I was going to create the back panel using intervals of that size, so I added to each letter a small connector of that exact size. Well, I did them a little bit smaller as we need to consider that FDM 3D printers don't usually print with the exact same measures. Once I had all the letters ready, I created a standard size back panel. That panel can be cut or resized to any to fit any frame, European or Americans. Once I had created the basic elements, I just needed to modify them and export them. As this project requires printing very big and very small parts, I used the Hotten family for the BCN 3D Sigma. This Hotten set comes with different Hottens each one having a different nozzle size or having a stainless steel nozzle. For this project I used the biggest nozzle for the frame and back part and the smallest one for the different letters. It takes around 5 minutes to change a hot end and recalibrate the bed but it can save you hours if the design can be printed using the large nozzle for example. I printed this big version also to test the print size of the BCN 3D Sigma R17 in order to make the final result more rigid, I applied some hot glue to the side and I glued the frame and the back part. Then I added a cardboard rectangle on the back to make it a little bit thicker and finally I added the message. And this is the result. Super easy and it looks great. The key this time is to make it look like it wasn't 3D printed. The good thing about it is that it can be customized. You just need to print the letters and the message you want, and that's it. Well, you also need the back part, but that's another thing. I've left download links in the description. All the files are the alphabet, which includes numbers and also some symbols like hashtag. I've also included some back black parts. And as reference for the sizes, I used standard photo sizes. This includes European and American photo frames, 10 by 15 centimeters and 13 by 18 centimeters for Europeans and 7 by 5 inches for the Americans. In case you want to create a custom black part, my patrons have access to the source files and you can edit them and make any size you want. They will also be available in some months for everyone, but I recommend you to check my Patreon page. I'm super happy about this project because creating a decorative item that doesn't feel geek is super good. If you liked this design and if you enjoyed with it, please like this video, subscribe to this channel and also check my Patreon page in case you want to customize it. Also, huge thanks to all my supporters for making this project possible. I hope you enjoyed with this video and see you next time.